What's going on guys? Welcome back to Breadwinner TV. This is your boy Ironic191 and today's video will work into our very first how-to tutorial. Now I'm standing here with Arianka and she asked me how to do this water reform glitch. Now you're probably wondering what is that? What's this over here? You guys see this? This is the water. Yes it is, that's right, that's the water sitting on top of the glass. That's right, got the glass under it. Well I'm going to show you guys how to do that today in this tutorial. Now, one thing that we need to get out of the way is that I've seen this building technique to make this all possible on another channel and the link is in the description down below. And another thing that we need to get out of the way real quick is if you do not have disable collisions in the game pass menu this will not work for you okay so if you do not have the disable collisions this will not work for you other than that let's get into the video so the first thing these guys want to do is you want to go into your build menu now you want to go to nature now you want to select this tree this is the tree i use because this is what works for me now you want to select this tree and you want to place the tree at the height that you want the water to sit at now we're only going to do this on a small scale so i'm going to build it at six meters so i'm going to place my trees now you place the amount of trees that you want to place for how big you want the water to be so we'll go like this And once you've placed your trees you go into your terrain menu then you go to block manipulation this is just so you can place the terrain inside the tree now you just want to go to the six meters or the height that you've got your your trees at for your water and we just want to cover just cover them like that so that you see the bottom of the trees come through sorry about the views just so you can see that the bottom of the tree is coming through now all you want to do is connect it down to the ground now all the way down every little bit right, let's go over here every little bit that you want to basically set the water on now one thing you want to realize too that this will not work if the ground color here like so if the paint terrain is a different color from this wall so if you're building sand on top of grass this glitch will not work it'll have to be grass on top of grass sand on top of sand etc etc so you just got to make sure that you got the same paint terrain color as the ground that you're placing it on top of now once you've done that you want to just place blocks all the way around the outside of where you want to entrap your water so all the way around like this then you want to select your water place your water inside there so we've got our water inside there now this is where the magic happens now you want to make sure you've got a different color terrain and make sure your enable collisions is now disabled now you just want to make sure that you're disabled your collisions and you've got different color terrain to what's in front of you and then once you've done that you just want to paint start painting the terrain all the way around just paint the terrain and do not forget the middle squares that right in the middle there you don't want to forget those squares and once you've painted the terrain you just want to go to block manipulator or however you like to remove the blocks and you want to make sure that your collisions is now re-enabled so you want to make sure they're enabled once they're enabled just remove the ground all the way to the ground just remove the floor all the way once you've removed the floor you just want to delete the trees next just start deleting the trees remove the trees now once you've removed all the trees I'm doing right now 
just letting you guys know this is all live gameplay. So I'm filming this all live. So once you've removed all the trees, I like to use the paths. So I like to go into paths and I like to go across the legacy. And I like to use the $80 clear glass. So that's what I like to use. I just use this. And I put it at the default height of 6 meters where we placed our trees. So let's place it at that height now. All the way around. And once you've done that, my little trick that I like to do is place a floor underneath to get rid of all the supports. And there you have it. You have your water reform glitch at whatever height you want to place your water at. Now I'll just quickly run up this mountain just to show you how it can be used on a larger scale. Let's quickly get up here. And this is what I've done in my little makeshift mountain that I've made. For the new park that I've been building with the subs recently. Alright, I'll just show you underneath. And this is what it looks like underneath. Now this can be built to any scale and at any height. And I hope this guys, uh, I hope this helps you out with your parks. You know, bring a different style of uh, creativity to your guys' parks from now on. You might see more legit underwater parks. And that's it for today's video and our very first how-to tutorial. Now if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you have that bell notification on so you guys know when the next video comes out. And if this video was helpful to you, make sure you hit that like button to show support to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.